Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use flex wrap property to wrap a row or column. Uh, CSS flex Flexbox has a feature to split a flex item into multiple rows or columns. By default, a flex container will fit all flex items together. For example, a row will all be on one line. However, using flex wrap property tells CSS to wrap items. This means the extra items move into a new row or column. The breakpoint of where the wrapping happens depends on the size of the item and the size of the container. CSS also has options for the direction of the wrap. There's no wrap, wrap, and wrap reverse. Uh, this is the first, no wrap is a default setting and does not wrap items. Wrap is wraps items from left to right if they are in a row or top to bottom if they are in a column. And wrap reverse wraps items from right to left if they are in a row or bottom to top if they're in a column. The current layout has too many boxes for one row. Add CSS property flex wrap to the box container element to give it a value of wrap. So they want wrap, which uh, is, the, is the CSS property that wraps items from left to right if they are in a row or top to bottom if they are in a column. And so we're looking for the um, box container here and what they, we want to do is set this to flex wrap. And we want to set this to wrap. Okay, so what does that do? That makes it so that height to 25%. Okay, because these are were all these are all set to 25%, right? Um, we've got orange red, which is probably that guy, Dodger blue, which is this guy. Okay, cool. So when we don't have flex wrap set, they're all set to 25, but they're making a, a mistake of of not um, actually being set to 25%. So the flex wrap is actually the the exterior container. And then the box container, you'll notice the box container is the parent element to all of these other sub elements. And so apparently this needs to be set to wrap in order for these to actually fulfill their desire to be um, uh, 25% um, width. And you'll see down here, even though there's, there's six blocks in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and yet there's four and then two. And then obviously, or not obviously, but um, if you were to break, you know, six boxes down and you were fill blocks 25% with them, they're going to create a row and a half. And so that's what's happened here. So I think if we run the tests, that'll pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.